My name is Madison Menard, and I made this video to share something I am deeply passionate about. A nonprofit organization that my best friend's family started nine years ago in Farmington, New Mexico, called Hustle Kindness. There is currently construction going on downtown where their business resides, and they are one of the many businesses taking a huge hit due to this construction. So let them tell you a little bit about themselves. Hustle Kindness is a part of it, and that was just to, to give back, to be a part of something, to do something for others. Um, it caught on, which I was very excited about, that people wanted to be a part of it as well, make a difference, um, you know, turning those small acts of kindness into those big waves and those big ripples. And we started the Hustle Kindness Movement to help people get involved and started our, you know, journey of working with communities and providing a platform where people can volunteer and hustle with us or wherever they may be. Um, we opened up our shop here to provide an actual location for people to come and be a part of it and shop. We had more, yeah, just walk and check. People would be down here eating um, at a restaurant and so they would see the signage or they would see, um, you know, somebody coming in and out with something else or they would come, somebody else would come and eat dinner at a restaurant or lunch and say, oh, you should go check it out. So we don't have that anymore. So that was the biggest hit, is you're not going to have just like a random person come and walk in. People all of a sudden um, were coming downtown. So we had a couple, two or three weeks that we, we had no business. Like literally one person came, everyone saying, oh my gosh, the downtown is closed. And I think that was a mentality. That everyone thought the businesses were closed when all the restaurants, all the businesses are still open, we're still here, we're still showing up every day. Yeah, because the road, I mean, you know, there is no road, there is no access. And so if there's not access to, you know, if for years you've been driving down the street and all of a sudden you can't, you're just gonna assume. So definitely business took a huge hit. That's it kind of helped because we have an online following and we have also an e-commerce so people all over the country can you know, so still shop. Yeah. And so we also offered for local shoppers to get free shipping. Um, so if we can make it through this year and we can continue to plead to our local, um, you know, our followers to come down and um, uh, shop with us, um, I hope we're still here. I hope Small businesses and local businesses are, it's somebody's livelihood. I mean, I look at this as it's my passion. Mm -hmm. It's not just a job I show up to. Um, it's something I love to do. Small business, like when somebody comes in shops here, there's a lot of meaning to that, to every purchase. Like when I see a name of somebody that I know that purchases, it means a lot. If you're going to support any business, support this one. Shop local. Shop Puzzle Kindness.